Good morning guys, Diana here from Garden Love. So since I'm giving you guys updates on a lot of things that are happening here in Garden Love's garden, there is one update that uh, I'm not too happy about. There's actually a tree that brought us a lot of joy last year to Lily and I and gave us tons and tons of little apples that Lily just enjoyed and loved having. Um, it seems to not be waking up. I think it went into a coma and it's going to be there for the rest of our time because it looks like it's completely dead. Now, as you guys can see, you guys were e probably even able to see all that dust coming off and it doesn't look like any of these branches made it through the winter. I don't know if it got root rot. I don't know if it didn't get enough sun. Quite frankly, I'm very disappointed because this is my, it was my four in one apple tree and it truly did provide tons of little apples for Lily to enjoy during the spring and summer because it did start producing very early on. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty sad to let this tree grow. As you can see, look at this trunk. Is just not looking good I got this from green thumb nursery it only lasted about three years quite frankly I'm not sure how I feel about three or four in one trees just because I feel that overall they don't grow as they should for example this is a branch that got grafted and as you can see, this graft is much bigger and thicker than the other grafts. So one graft always does better than the rest, which in my opinion, um, it's taking energy from helping the other grafts. And eventually it just becomes a one, um, one type of apple tree because I feel like maybe they don't graft apple trees that are equally... Um, I don't know like they don't grow the same at the same pace so maybe this graph grows a lot faster than these three so I'm not sure what happened I would love to know as you can see it is from one of my favorite um, vendors is Dave Wilson nursery which you know it must I mean they have great products I love all their trees if I have a choice I usually try to get their tree but I don't know what happened to this tree. I mean, it was sitting right there, getting plenty of sun. Maybe during the winter, that area didn't have as much sun. Maybe it got too much water because it did rain like crazy. And it seems like all the branches are pretty dead. You know, and I'm, I don't know. Let's try. There's no green. Usually there's green. I mean, this is the rootstock, so even if this is alive, it really wouldn't matter because what matters are these grafts. So I'm pretty sad to say that my 4-in-1 apple tree did not make it. Uh, it's gone into a permanent coma, and it's going to have to go into the compost or the trash. I'm going to have to replace this tree because, as you can see, my Jumanji courtyard is looking a little bare there. So since this is like citrus lane and citrus paradise, I might just put another citrus there. And there's two trees that definitely need to get up potted, which is this is my air layer Eure pink eureka lemon that I took from my old neighbor about three years ago. This is the third year. And as you can see, it's doing fantastic. I've up potted this twice. I have videos for that. If you guys are interested, you guys can see the trunk at the bottom of the tr of the um the roots you can see the trunk where i cut it and i you know from the air layer so it's a lot bigger this year and this definitely needs to be up potted this and it's gonna have to be done pretty soon here now i wasn't sure how far this tree was gonna make it and i definitely wanted a pink eureka lemon so i decided to purchase one that same year that i air layered that tree and this tree has been um, purchased from Home Depot that's usually where I've seen these pink Eureka um, 
lemons. I haven't seen them any, anywhere else, even the nurseries. So I highly suggest a few of my subscribers ask me, where did I get it? And this is the time I actually was at Home Depot a few days ago and I saw this tree. So if you guys are interested in getting the pink Eureka lemon, this is definitely the time to go look for it. So I suggest to go now. Um, this was grafted. So one of these trees is going to have to start growing aspillare and the other one's going to have to start, I'm going to let it grow naturally. And I think the one that's going to grow aspillare is going to be this one just because um, it has a better structure to it and it was grafted. So there is going to be a trunk a little longer than my air layer. So I might put this one in that container right there growing as a bush not a spiller so uh, these are the sad news i know we all have a few of these updates unfortunately i'm just very sad this was one of my most expensive trees that i have here in my garden uh, i think i paid maybe 70 dollars for this tree uh, most of my trees i try to keep it under 30 so um yep this is what's happening guys pretty pretty sad to see this i keep cutting branches hoping that there i find some sign of life but it's just not happening not happening guys very very sad to see this tree go and i know lily's going to miss it because if you guys saw the year the videos from last year every day she came out to this tree and come and grab an apple and she absolutely loved it they were cute little apples this tree did bloom twice uh, for some reason it bloomed right before um, fall I don't know why it was a rare situation uh, very uncommon so I thought I was gonna get a second wave of apples but it didn't happen the blooms fell it wasn't warm enough so yeah guys pretty pretty sad I wish that I can replace this with another apple tree but I can't complain very much because as you guys know that I was blessed with two giant apples that were gifted to me. I had to go dig them up from someone's house and um, those two apples are doing great. This is one of them as you can see right there and I have one in the backyard which I just recently transplanted from the wine barrel into the ground because it has shown tons of success, tons of um. Uh, proof that it made it even though I accidentally broke the trunk when I transplanted it into my house So it's definitely in the ground and it has tons of blooms. It is amazing guys. I got to show you guys but so Another thing actually I'm gonna do a separate video on this. All right guys I'm gonna cut it now because as you guys know like always, I just talk and talk and then I start moving on to other things. I am going to be doing a garden tour so you guys can see from the minute I step out of my door all around to the back and just um, show you guys how um, everything's doing and what I'm growing. Okay, if you guys are interested in seeing that tour, let me know. I'm a little hesitant to do it just because it will be a long video and as you guys can hear me now I'm talking forever just on about this tree so um, I don't know if I should split it into two or if I should just do one long video of the whole tour let me know in the comments down below all right guys I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye